Well, hello, the fat bastard's back who's so fat he looks like he's pregnant. Forcing his opinions on you whether you want it or not. So, I haven't had a good rant for a while, so I'm going to rant about things that generally confuse me and things that generally irritate me about YouTube. So, one thing that generally irritates me about videos on YouTube is when they have the video playing in a tiny little window. Now, I can understand if it's gone through several layers of 16x9 and 4x3 conversions, but some people like to put a big flashy border all around the picture. And uh, why? I mean, if I did my videos like this, you'd be furious, wouldn't you? And rightly so. It doesn't make the video look more trendy. It doesn't make it look more cool. It doesn't make it look more hip. It just makes it look tacky. So, don't put the borders on the videos. It just looks bad. So a similar thing I often see on YouTube is when people upload videos in this silly narrow aspect ratio. I mean, I just don't understand why they do that. First time I came across a video that was like that, I thought something had gone wrong, you know? Thought something had screwed up in the encoding process, which had all squished it up altogether. But apparently no. Apparently this is a thing, because since then I've seen so many other videos that are like this. Especially the YouTube Shorts. I don't know why, but it seems to be like some kind of trend to cut off the left side of the screen and cut off the right side of the screen, just leaving what's in the middle. I mean, why? What, what's the point? I mean, you've got all this unused space over here and all this unused screen space over here. You could use that to show more of what you're filming. It's common sense. So, I don't know why they pillar box it in a tiny little... Th I mean, what's next? Videos only one pixel wide? Yeah, maybe I should try that. But yeah, I'm not going to stoop to that level. I might actually do some YouTube shorts, but I'm going to do them full screen. I'm not going to do them all pillar box like that, because that's just stupid. Another thing that really annoys me is these silent how-to videos on YouTube. Now, I like to tinker with electronics. So I've got a couple of bits and pieces here to show you, and I like to see what other people are doing. And there's a lot of electronics videos out there on YouTube, but so many of them, they don't speak. They don't explain what they're doing. They, sometimes they don't even provide a schematic. And they think some irritating plinky plonky music is going to describe what they're doing. I'm going to do an example of one of those kind of videos. Did you understand what's going on? Did the music tell you anything? Did you know what I was doing? Of course not! So, let's play that clip again, but with the original audio intact, so you could hear what I was saying. Okay, so in this short little video here, I'm going to show you the thyristor. Now this looks like a transistor, but instead, it's kind of like a switch where, once you turn it on, it stays on. So, we have a little circuit here, We've got a positive going into this light bulb, then going into the anode of the thyristor, and the cathode is going to ground, and the gate is just floating. And I'm going to apply some voltage to the gate, and the light should come on. It's a little bit of an iffy connection, but... 
There we go. The light has now come on. And even if I connect the gate to the ground, the light will stay on, as you can see. So the only way to make this light turn off is to disconnect the power, like so. Now when I reconnect the power, the light will stay off. So to turn the light on again, just apply some positive voltage to the gate. And that's a basic demonstration of the thyristor. There. See how much easier that is when there's running commentary? It explains what I'm doing. We're not in the age of silent movies anymore. There was something invented way back called a talkie. Look into it. If any of you silent video makers out there are watching this video, look up the talkie. So one thing on YouTube that people do that really annoys me, it really gets my goat, it really grinds my gears, it really irritates me, is when they interrupt themselves to talk about some random product they like. I did not click on your video to hear you ramble on about how much you love Raid Shadow Legends or NordVPN or whatever the newest thing is right now. No, I don't care. That's not what I clicked on the video for. I don't know who started this, I think it was Linus Tick Tips, but I think what happened is he came across some product that he liked and thought, hey, this is a pretty good product, I'm gonna mention this in my next video. So he did. Then another YouTuber comes along, watches that video, and hears him talking about that product, so checks it out for himself and thinks, yeah, you know, Linus or whoever it was was right, this is a really good product. Uh, I'm going to talk about it in my video too. And you can see how this starts to snowball. More and more YouTubers come along, hear that, hear about this product, and they start talking about it. You know, they hop on the bandwagon of talking about it in their videos. And yeah, it's a snowball effect. But if you feel like you have to talk about just how much you love these products or services, make a separate video about it. Don't interrupt the main video. You've got no idea how annoying that is. It's almost as annoying as my voice. So bottom line, if there's some product or service out there that you really like, don't interrupt the flow of the main video to talk about it. Talk about it in a separate video. Make a separate video dedicated to talking about that product. It's common sense. <laughs> Another annoying thing is when they put the title of the video in English, but the video content is in another language. So many times I've clicked on a video that looks interesting, only to be greeted by <laughs> Apart from English, I cannot tell one language from another. I mean, I was watching something in French the other day, and I thought it was Japanese. Because, I, I, I mean, I don't know, I mean, they all sound the same to me, so... Yeah, now, just to get the record straight, I've got nothing against you uploading videos in your own native language, got nothing against that, but if the video is not going to be in English, don't put the title in English. It's very misleading. Plus, people who do speak your language, they're going to see the title and see it's in English and maybe not even be able to read what it says, so they're not even going to know that the video is in their language and they're less likely to watch it, see? So putting the video title in the same language as the video's content is common sense. I don't know why you think that putting the title in English if the video is going to be in another language, I don't know why you think that makes sense. It doesn't make sense to me. And finally, I just want to touch up on swearing. Now, I'm somebody who's sensitive to foul language, and I don't know why so many people on YouTube think it's so necessary to swear. I mean, sometimes I'm watching a video, it looks pretty safe, it looks pretty innocent, but then all of a sudden, for no reason, out of nowhere, an F-bomb, and it hits me like that. There's just no need to swear. 
I don't know why you don't curb your language. I mean, you don't know who could be watching the video. Little kids could be watching the video. I don't know why YouTube doesn't have, like, some kind of swear blocker on it. I mean, if I was running YouTube, I would have that done. I mean, we've got this speech recognition software on YouTube now that's, right now, transcribing everything I'm saying into subtitles and doing a pretty good job of it. So, how much harder would it be to make some kind of speech recognition that's just designed to listen out for foul language? It could listen out for just those specific words, and whenever those words are said, it could mute the sound. That would make things so much better. Anyway, I've got 20 minutes of bad takes and everything to edit out, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. And until next time, goodbye, because I've got more rants to get on with.